Good afternoon. Um, I am Professor J. D. O. Sechere, the Vice Chancellor of Cape Coast Technical University, and I want to thank Campus Style for this opportunity to speak um, regarding violence concerning the elections and probably violence in general. If you look at the League of Nations, you will find that we're very far behind in terms of development. Nations have gone far ahead of us and uh, we have probably hundreds of years work to do to catch up. But for us to be able to even attempt to catch up, we need to have some, um, some ambience, some semblance of peace in our country. No nation has ever been able to develop in the time when there was violence when there were conflicts. No, it doesn't happen. No nation can develop when there are conflicts. A nation can only develop in the time of peace. Europe was raised down when during World War I, World War II. It was after the World War II when there was peace that Europe rebuilt itself. Japan managed to also rebuild itself after World War II where things were destroyed. We can only build our nation when we have peace in this nation. How can we have peace? It requires that you and I will have a mind, a mind that will say, no, we stand against any form of violence. Elections are just around the corner. The politicians are looking for people to play their dirty games for them. They want to win power, to get into some high office, and they're looking for people who can help them get there. I think that we must be smarter than we have been in the past. They will get into the office, they will hand us breadcrumbs. They will get the best and hand us breadcrumbs. Is that what we want, the breadcrumbs? I don't think so. I think we must see ourselves as better than breadcrumbs. And so I want to call on, particularly the youth, to begin to consider what we intend to do now that the elections are around the corner. Let us be smarter than we have been in the past. Let us not support any individual in any act to perpetrate any act of violence. It will not help us, it will not help Mother Ghana. We all need, we need to have each youth alive. We need you healthy, we need you strong, we need you in your best shape so that together we can build a new nation, a better Ghana. We have come a long way. We want to continue steadily on the path that we have begun, but it can only continue if all of us will decide that we will say no to violence, no to anything that will draw us back, but will rather lend our efforts, lend our strength, lend our minds to all that will work towards the development of this, of this great nation of ours. Politicians come, politicians go, but Ghana remains forever. Let's remember that Ghana remains forever. And we must also understand that we can't all have our preferred candidates voted into power. Some will win, some will lose. That is the course of this slide. When our candidates lose, let's take it with a pinch of salt, of course, but let's accept it. Let them go again after four years. Uh, let them attempt again and see if they can get into office. But all that matters is Mother Ghana. At the end of the day, let's build Ghana and leave a solid legacy for our children and our children's children to enjoy. Go to the UK. Go to the US. Many are dying in the Mediterranean Sea. Why? Because they want to go to the UK. They want better conditions for themselves. Can't we create the same conditions here in Ghana? I think we can. We have the resources, the human resources, the natural, the resources available. But we, unless we decide to create an atmosphere of peace, an ambience of peace, and build a nation, we will not make any headway. So I'm calling on all the youth and probably everybody else. Let's ensure that there is peace during this election period and even beyond then, so that together we can build a great nation, a nation that other people will want to run to, to work here, to stay here, and for all the other things. Let's work together so that we can build a great nation. To the youth, you're the future leaders of this nation. Today you're where you are. Tomorrow, God willing, you could be a minister. You could even become a president. Would you want to destroy your future for somebody today? I don't think that's the best way to go. So let's together work for peace. Let's say no to election violence. Let's build a better nation together. Thank you.